Hello and welcome back. If you're new, hello, welcome. Today is a bit of a DIY slash organization style video. It's going to be just a look what I'm trying to sort out. <laughs> My lipstick drawer slash lip product drawer is a mess. It's just all rolling around in there. I have put some of the glosses into a little tub because I just, I just had to do something. I was losing my mind and I'm still losing my mind because I ordered organization stuff and it took weeks to arrive. Damn the snow. However, they have arrived. So these are little slot things as you can see. That, that, that's really good English right there. So these little jobbers slot into each other. So they're not as wide as my drawers and they're slightly too long depth wise, um, you know length wise. So I will have to break off a wee end on it, but that's okay. But I thought I'd take you through just getting my drawers organized and getting them back into some sort of order before I lose my mind. I do have quite a few, as you can see. I will leave them linked down below. I just bought them on Amazon because I was gonna do a DIY. I've seen loads of DIY videos and then it's like, that looks like it's gonna take forever. And I'm not sure if I have the patience to measure the lipsticks and then measure everything and then cut stuff and it was gonna actually cost me more to get the materials and do it than it was just to order these. And these seem like they'll last a wee bit longer because they're quite sturdy. So we're gonna get started. I am going to just walk you through. So I'm gonna initially just check the size of my lipsticks. So I think it's gonna be like two of these, as in two deep square um, but I need to check some of my outer lipsticks to make sure that they fit as well and I'm going to just check that I can stand up some of the lip glosses as well or else they're going to go in a tube and I also have some lip liners so I need to sort those out too but let's just go have a look at the before and then we can be all happy at the end when it's the after and you will guess so much better on you but I know why did I wait so long to do this so let's go get started Oh, if you're interested in the makeup, there's a tutorial, the link will be somewhere and all that, if it is up, it should be up by now. I'm not sure what I'm doing, what order I'm doing the videos in, so, you know, it's going to be coming. But expect that at some point, and if it's up, there's a link. <laughs> right, let's go get started. I have to leave my little desk now and go over and throw the drawers out. Fun time. Dun, dun, dun. So this is the drawer before, just everywhere. They're all lying on top of each other. No wonder I can't find things. <sighs> anyway, these are the little slots and I'm putting together a square just so I can make sure that most of my lipsticks are going to fit in. And you know, I can put everything in the drawer and they're not gonna sink in and then I can never get them out again. So I'm just measuring them up. Now for the lipstick and lip gloss counting. I have taken everything out of the drawer and I'm having a good sort as I go to see if there's anything I want to get rid of. But I'm generally just having a look to see what I have. Now putting it all together. I want to make sure, like I said, I have enough squares so I counted beforehand. And now I am attempting to bend slash snap off the little bits. You know, each individual segment is supposed to just snap off. Yeah, it's not that easy. So I soon give in, take a pair of scissors to it and just cut off the bits that I don't need. Now this is to make sure it actually fits into the drawer. As you can see, it's just one too long. So once it's cut, it fits in. Now it's the assembly. And yes, yes, I'm aware that's in the wrong place. I'll figure it out in a wee second and I'll move everything again because you know, I'm clever like that. So I realized doing it front to back wasn't gonna work as I explained later on, so I've done it side to side. And I'm just now filling everything up. I've kind of kept it by brand, but I have a funny feeling I might rearrange it and do it more by color. Because when you're looking at them, some of them have the color in the end, some of them don't, so it might be easier to identify if I do them by color and group them a bit easier so I can find what I'm looking for when I need it. And I'm done. Ta-da, all finished. It took about an hour, but I got there in the end and a wee bit of rejigging as well, obviously. So that's it. I finally sorted out that drawer. It's looking a lot better. Um, I would have talked you through what I was doing, basically counting the many lipsticks I had, measuring it up. And I did initially put it in front to back. And then I realized that I wasn't able to get the lipsticks at the back. That's just not cricket. So I then switched it so it was side to side. And then I put the little 
tub of my lip glosses at the back because I don't use them as often and I was able to see them because they were lower down and then I put my lip liners to the one side just free and loose and hanging out and stuff and then there were a few lipsticks that were just a wee bit too short and I have just popped them loose in the drawer I know what they are so I didn't want them to go in and never to come out again I did also have a wee bit of a clear out so I had a lipstick that was too old a lipstick I just didn't wear this is a beautiful lipstick from lipstick queen but it's a wee bit too dry on my lips and it doesn't work quite as well as it once did apologies if you can hear noise it's raining and all sorts of nastiness going on I have this lipstick I've just never worn. It's a wee bit too vibrant and it doesn't look right on me. It's a lipstick from Wet n Wild. I've had for ages and I've actually got another one, similar sort of shade, but it works better for me. Um, and then this one from Rimmel. It's 101. And it looks like it should be a nice nude, but it just makes me feel ill. I'm in two minds about that one, so I might just have another plate. It might depend on what I'm wearing. And then lastly, this one from Bourgeois. Remember, these were all the rage. And it's Rose Symphony, which is a beautiful colour. But there's something, the smell, no, I just can't handle it at all. So I'm getting rid of that. And because they've all, I've used all of these, I'm not sure. Maybe this one might go to somebody, I think. But the rest, I want to obviously I'll sanitise it and all that kind of jazz. But the rest are going to go in the bin, I'm afraid. But that's good, good to have a wee declutter. So that's four lipsticks I'm getting rid of. Good to have a wee sort along the way. That's the whole crack. If you've any questions, let me know down below. And the link that I, I will leave the link for the little separators. I'll leave that down below as well for you to check out for yourself. The, the delivery takes forever, so be warned. But uh, yeah, it's very handy. Very, very handy just to be able to bend them and snip if I needed to. And they cut quite easily. Once you have them bent, they cut quite easily. I was a bit awkward every now and then and too lazy to uh, take them all the way out to do it. But, you know. Thanks so many for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please tell all of your friends. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.